Hello everyone. Today's video is going to be how we built this rounded concrete block sitting wall made from the Teco Block Manufacturer uh, Sema wall system. I hope you guys enjoy this video and if you do don't forget to hit that subscribe button. It means a lot guys. So let's just hop right into the video. Alright the border's in in that area we made the cuts. Check it out. And this is where we stopped the other day. So we're gonna take a break from this patio and walkway um, right now and we're gonna start focusing on building this sitting wall. We got our wall block here. We got a little bit more excavation to do here and then uh, scrape up some of this extra three quarter inch stone we have around, fill it in, compact it and start laying our first row of block. Back of this patio here where we're doing the sitting wall is excavated, backfilled with the three quarter inch stone and compacted. Got some blocks stacked up for me to work with. So we're gonna start building a wall. Gonna start building the wall, Benny. He's got one more block to chip. And then I think he's gonna start celebrating and partying over there. He's probably gonna do a little dance. I might. <laughs> This first row is going to be all pretty much underground, so we don't have to worry about it being double-sided. But um, the second and third row uh, will definitely, definitely the third row is going to be double-sided. So we're going to have to do some customizing of all the all the blocks. The second row, maybe half of it will be revealed. Um, so we'll have to do some customizing on that as well. So when we get there, I'm going to show you what I mean by the customizing. This first row should go pretty simple. Um, we're just going to follow the radius of the of the patio. If you're new to this channel, welcome to the Christian Hardscaper where we do a lot of masonry and hardscape installations just like this as well as snow plowing. So check out the channel for all those kind of videos and content and uh, if this patio and um, fire pit and all this stuff is interesting to you I have an entire playlist of how we did this job from uh, excavation to backfilling um, to screeding, leveling off the base for our patio, to laying the patio, doing all our cuts, building the fire pit, so on and so forth. So, a lot of good content um, if you're interested in this work. And uh, if you are, hit that subscribe button and hit that like. I really appreciate it and it helps the uh, channel big time. But um, let's just get right into this. I'm, uh, I'm building the uh, first row right now, which any, any wall builder is going to tell you with this uh, with block walls. This is really the uh, number one part. You just take your time uh, and you make sure that the uh, first row is absolutely perfect. And then if you do that, um, the process from there on out is pretty simple. You just stack and block on your, um, your well done first row. But um, as you'll see in this video, there are some uh, important things uh, to think about when building a curved wall like this and uh, especially when it's double sided. Um, I'll be explaining in these clips to come that the first two rows are pretty much buried so there'll be no need to actually have a double sided on that but the third row top row will be seen from behind so we're gonna want to uh, customize all those those blocks and you'll see how we do that so stay tuned and enjoy the video the first row in up to where our corners need to be we don't have the block splitter today so we're just gonna build the wall out to where our corners are going to be and we'll bring the uh, splitter tomorrow to um, make our corners. Um, we did backfill it and clean off the tops while the camera was off. But um, that's what we do. We core fill it with three quarter inch stone in the holes and the gaps and it just locks everything in nice and tight. But um, that's good right there. Our next move is to start making the second row. Uh, I did want to mention to you guys this is a Teco Block product just like the fire pit. Um, the fire pit is called Valencia from Teco Block. The color is Champlain Gray. And um, this wall block, this wall block from um, Teco Block is called Sema. So Teco Block Sema is the wall block and it's the same color tone as the fire pit. It's called Champlain Gray. Um, they're uh, 16 inches long by 6 inches high and um, I believe 11 inches in depth. 
So, and it also comes with these, um, this is the, the way that they interlock. Because this wall is made to either have a one inch setback or you run it straight up um, vertically, which is what we're doing. And depending on where you put these tabs, tabs, these, um, whatever you want to call them, <laughs> the, the interlocking um, plastic pieces, that sounds official, huh, buddy? Mm -hmm. If we put them in the middle row, that's what's going to keep us straight. If we put them in the front row, that's what's going to give us our inch setback. So we'll be using the, the straight up and down technique because this isn't a retaining wall. We're not uh, holding back a lot of um, pressure. It's just um, going to be three rows high for a sitting wall. So we're going to have it nice and straight with a uh, cap that has an inch overhang. All right, guys, a quick note about these uh, tabs that interlock each layer together. I know a lot of you guys out there that do use this system or, um, you know, other systems like this don't generally use those on small walls. But, you know, the way I see it in any application of these walls, those things are going to do nothing but help. Um, you know, some people say that they're just, you know, they're pointless. But I can guarantee you one thing, when you build a wall like this and you put those tabs in, you can try to kick the wall over or kick a block out as much as you want and they're just not going to go anywhere as opposed to if you just rest the block on another block you can just take any kind of hammer you want to the back of the the block and, and punch it forward and, and shift these these wall blocks there's not much weight holding them back and these these um, interlocking plastic tabs are designed to prevent that so if you see those on your wall block pallets, make sure you use them, guys. They're not just for the trash. Right here, everything that's in, we're going to backfill with loom up to at least there. So these, um, all these open gaps and everything in the back will be hidden by dirt. But this next row, which is going to be the last row, will be visible from the back. So what we're actually going to have to do now is um make it double sided which on straight walls this is a double sided wall um and if you're making a straight wall it's very easy all it is is spinning the, the block around sorry one second spinning the block around and doing it like that and then you have a face from both sides but unfortunately because we have a round wall we have to you know the radius is going to be like this so we got to do some customizing um, which means say this is the front of the wall we're going to have to cut this block say like this to follow this line whatever line is going to be so we got to trim it and um, change the radius of it and then it will fit tight and be able to have a, um, a double-sided wall. So this whole row is going to definitely take a little bit more time because each block is going to have to be cut at least once, maybe twice, maybe once on on both sides, so that it's not such a a big angle. here on this edge so I don't have to cut the back face I only have to cut the front so I'm gonna put the square right there get it close find this measurement which is about an inch and five eighths so I want to met I want to copy that up in the front
Okay, that looks pretty good. So I'm gonna make my top mark. And then I'm gonna make my mark in the on the face because that's the most important cut. That's what you're gonna see. The middle um, doesn't really matter as long as it's on that line or in more so that it can uh, the face can touch this block. All right, let's go cut it. So, like I said, it takes a little bit of time, guys, because I um, gotta cut it twice. But that's what you gotta do to make sure it's got a nice uh, split face on each side. I don't like seeing, um, I see it a lot, but I really, I think it's really cheesy, um, is leaving the back with the open V slots. Uh, I know from the front it'll look fine, but people see the back too, so it's important to make it nice from both sides. So, I'm gonna keep moving, guys. Good morning, everyone. Morning. <laughs> I knew it was coming. Anyway, so I did end up putting a lot more uh, blocks on yesterday off camera, but here's where we are. Um, this sitting wall is gonna just have the corner right here, and then we're gonna build it straight up to meet that third row. But. So here's all the uh, cuts we made. Like I said, the way that this um, radius kind of turned out, I could leave these full pieces uncut, but cut both sides of these hollows every other. So <clears throat> it's gonna work out pretty good. So I got another, um, I don't know, I'd probably say six or seven block to get over there. And then um, we're making corners. <clears throat> got the block splitter with us today. While I was doing that at the end of the day yesterday, Benny laid out the other side of the border. This looks really nice. He's got an eye for curves. I do. I do. <laughs> <laughs> nice, Benny. But it does look really good. Matches this, um, the other entrance pretty good. That'll come in, curve, go straight down. I don't know, bro. I still am trying to figure out the best name for this shape because I'm really seeing Squidward's head now. <laughs> like the well, like the head of a squid or an octopus, dude, especially with the two like the two little tentacles coming out. <laughs> I don't know, dude. Or a really weird looking fish. But yeah, that looks good. So we're gonna um we'll end up cutting that. I might actually cut that first and then Benny can lay the uh the pavers in up against the cut while I keep going on the, the wall over there. Here I am just kind of wrapping up this last uh, layer of wall block. And um, in the next video is going to be how we uh, split and install the corners of this wall. That's a nice short video, under eight, eight minutes. Um, and uh, it just kind of really ties a wall together with a nice uh, split-faced corner as opposed to a smooth-faced corner. Top row. Double-sided row is all set. It's looking pretty good. So 
So it's all dry laid in there. I don't have the um, the plastic uh, tabs uh, pins to um, put in there yet. Plus all the, the blocks are pretty dirty and dusty. So my next move is to pull everything off, put it down on the patio in front, um, wash the blocks off and then put it back up um, with the pins installed. All right guys, what I'm uh, gonna be doing here on the end of this video is uh, throwing, like I said before, the uh, plastic interlocking tabs on this layer. Before I do so, with all the, the cutting that I did, it's everything's pretty dusty. So I'm gonna give everything a good wash down, install the tabs, then put the blocks back on. And um, like I said before, guys, check out the channel for the next part, which is just kind of finishing off the ends of this wall, splitting the caps, and uh, building the corners. And then after that is gonna be the uh, short video of how we installed the caps on this wall. So. Uh, if you enjoyed this video and this content is interesting to you, make sure you hit that, that like and subscribe, and I appreciate the support in advance. But uh, until the next one, guys, God bless, and uh, keep up the hard work out there.